Hi there, welcome back to Untypical Me. Today we're joined by Suleiman Alede, who is the publisher of Aleda.com. So we're going to hear more from him about what Aleda.com covers and about his past professional history, which I know everybody's dying to find out, and some other fun facts which we don't know yet. So, hello, Sly. Well, it's good to be here with you uh, yes. on your uh, program on Typical You. Yes, uh, typical me. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us about Aleda.com. So far, we've done we've done uh, the Nigerian police force. Uh, okay. We have looked oh. at the bakery, you know, the complaints of you know, uh, you know, the uh, irregular promotion, mm -hmm. uh, what they have called uh, special promotion, okay. uh, the corruption in that you know uh, mm -hmm. uh, exercise, and uh, the call for the presidency mm -hmm. that has always said, hey. Uh, we are fighting against corruption to yeah. act on, you know, that and also investigate and find out whether what people are saying uh, is correct yeah, or not. Yeah, because there's some stories like you hear about where the police like maltreats women, touch them anyhow on the road, or they are stopping people because they are carrying dreads and asking going to go through people's phones. I mean, that's ridiculous. I, I know. I, are they meant to do that? They, 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 they're not. Because, uh, in fairness, uh, the police also has, uh, uh, you know, a complaint mm. section where people can actually complain, and they've okay. been working because we've tested them mm. uh, loads of times. Uh, when they say bail is free, and some people are trying to uh, extract money from these individuals mm. or harass you, we've also given people that number because they were, and, okay. uh, and that's why we also have them on our site. Mm -hmm. We have the police, uh, like an advert, who put mm. those uh, numbers there. Uh, a lot of people thought that because we had that on our side, we were not going to look into the police affairs. Mm. The police affairs, uh, to a large extent, that people are complaining is really messy because okay. we, we, we gave numbers mm. and uh, information out for which these people can reach out. Mm. And you will be amazed at what the law cadre of the Niger police force are mm. saying about, yeah, you know, or bosses, guys, or yeah. bosses mm. as the pilot. Uh, they're not happy about uh, okay. the promotion exercise and it will seem as if favoritism, nepotism, mm. tribalism uh, mm. is the order of the day in the Nigerian police. And another one is also the Nigerian Immigration Service. Uh. They're, they're not excited <laughs> about that, but again, we still say, look at the issues we brought to the fore. Mm. And what's quite sad, uh, sadly, is that uh, when you try as much as possible to reach out to these people, those who claim to represent them as, uh, um, you know, public relations officers, yes. mm. They don't talk, they don't say anything. So one wonders how they were able to get these people to represent uh, the yeah. service mm. or the force uh, 
uh, and mom is always the word, uh, or they fight you when yeah. you don't even have anything to um. say. So how do you how do you report on these kind of issues without stepping on anybody's toes? You must step on toes, and mm. there's, there's no way. There's no, you know, it's it, it's a it's, you know, mm. it's a land. Do you find that if you so let's say you say, for example, the immigration service, you find something wrong. And then you want to interview someone. Do you find that it's easy for you to reach out? To it's never easy. I'm happy, Jimmy. I'm happy you're saying this. You're asking this because it's never easy. Mm. When you reach out, I'll give you an instance. We called a gentleman who represented them, and he said he was uh, in transit. We should call him back in about two hours. Okay. We waited and we called. And the moment he knew why we wanted to just speak with him, mm. the next thing is, uh, well, send me the number. I mean, yeah. the questions. Uh, 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 you know, as text messages, mm -mm. and we did. Mm. Still, till date, he hasn't mm -hmm. said anything. So uh, I think definitely you will you will step on toes. People mm. will be agitated. People will be angry. Mm -hmm. But, but the, the laws are there. You know, guiding our operations. And so long as you know you follow all of that, mm. uh, you don't have to fear anything. Mm -hmm. well, that's interesting. And then another thing, I'm not saying this because <laughs> he's sitting down here, but my number one place that I go to for news right now is a letter.com and I find it's very Thank easy very like much. on the go you don't need to sift through a lot of nonsense it's straight to the point exactly what you want and that's very good Thank you. so as a journalist I know how hard it is to get news on the go and then you you have to write the script they have to read the text how do you manage to do that every single day it's quite, it's quite difficult because uh, we, we try as much as possible to reduce, uh, you know, uh, errors, mm -hmm. maybe grammatical errors yeah. or spelling errors mm -hmm. uh, to the barest minimum. Uh, that's one of the things we pride ourselves, uh, you know, mm -hmm. for because we try as much as possible to go look at them again, and we just realize that the people are also helping us. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they are amazing. Our readers, they point out anything mm -hmm. to us. In the best of manners, and mm. uh, we we adhere to what uh, you know they, they they have pointed out. Um, okay. uh, also, we have so many gatekeepers. Don't forget, uh, I'm happy you're a journalist. The mm. the thing is that it's a family thing. A lot of people who know that look, you're not just uh, someone a mistake in the industry. Mm -hmm. They watch you out, you know, for you. They watch your back, and by the time they see any kind of all my bosses from my radio days in mm. Radio Nigeria. Uh, even those are still there in China television, mm. in uh, Rise News, a lot mm. of people, they still once in a while point out one or two things. So okay. it means that people care about what uh, we're you. doing. And yeah. I'm excited that even you, you all, uh, we've also learned a whole lot from you, telling us how to go about our blog. No, no, really. I mean, our, our YouTube channel yes. and the mm. podcast, which is, to, which is mm. yet to be. Mm -hmm. So I think we appreciate everyone uh, who's uh, there for us uh, in, on this dream. That's good. So talking about channels, what prompted you to leave channels? <laughs> Not okay. I hope okay, that, okay. I hope okay. that no 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 I hope that this someday will go away because but I think the closest I'll mm. say is that mm. I'm happy uh, that it has happened the way it happened and I'm okay. happier. Uh, it wasn't messy, even though a lot of people tried to make it. Because I still remember what I did. I said I wasn't happy, and I, I added it better and more challenges. Yes. You know, mm. uh, but a lot of people tried to. You know, they went to press. The only, you know, media I spoke mm. to uh, is Premium Times. Okay. Until date, I think anyone trying to say anything, they mm. were just you know trying to conjure create a story, create mm. story and mm. all that. So I, I, I say premium times, uh, they're, they're of course, these are professionals. Yeah. Uh, and so they reached out to me and they were the only ones. And after I spoke to them, mm. I, I went, mom. So, so, yes. so basically, the, to put you know rest to all of that, mm. uh, the CEO, who's my brother, like an uncle, okay. you know, not like, he's an uncle, mm. uh, we're not fighting. And, mm. I, and I'll say that. Perhaps there, there were some misunderstanding, but have we reached out to each other since mm. after I left? Mm. Yes. Was it a good response? Mm. Yes. So I think for all those looking for trouble, <laughs> forget about it. Mm. Watch and follow us and see how we grow. Yes. I'm actually, I'll actually ask a question from a positive stance because 
I also left a job that I was comfortable at to start this. And a lot of people tell you, oh, how can you do that? Where are you going to get money from? How do you know it's going to be successful? Like, how did you find the strength in yourself to say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to my dreams. And then you took the plunge. You know, the fear of failure. Mm. <laughs> it's first, it's, ah! you know, a lot of people, mm. just recently, I think uh, uh, some colleagues, uh, some of them very senior colleagues in the, in, in the, in the industry called my attention to someone who went on Facebook mm. and because uh, he ran into me uh, you know, at the airport okay. and he stole a photograph of me without me knowing ah. and then, yes he went on Facebook and he placed it on Facebook and he wrote so many you know, uh, ugly things, uh -huh. uh, things like uh, he just couldn't recognize me because uh, I, I think he was trying to insinuate that I'm now suffering, yes, uh, I didn't look good again and uh, and then I, I I wasn't even you know having my beard. Mm. So if I if I was spotting a the beard, then I said okay, maybe he read the beard thing to look you know to mean what mm. he was writing. Mm. And I said to myself, I said this is some of the things this is the thing, you, know, you you go through when you yes, you you, 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 mm. you decide to you know do your own thing. Mm. But you know the staying power, the consistency, and the belief, and uh, the uh, the commitment of the mm. team. Mm. I think. Is one thing that pushes us, uh, that propels us uh, to keep going on. It's really, it's not, it's not an easy, you know, yes, uh, I mean, route. Mm. Uh, recently, someone called me and, and said he was going to leave uh, where he was working. Don't mm. ask me where. Mm. Uh, a very That's top, fine. a very top person. Mm. And I said, I don't think you're ready. <laughs> so it mm. was me now telling him that I don't think yeah. you're ready because mm. at the time I left, obviously I wasn't ready, but. My anger pushed me and I moved mm, mm. and I have never for one day woke up and be filled with any kind of regret. Okay. Uh, like Just like the gentleman who mm. went on Facebook, uh, I don't think anyone has reached out to him to say, I can't even put your money on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so so mm. the, those are some of the things you get to go through. But mm. uh, I think you have asked a very fantastic question. The thing is that if you have a good family, and yes. friends mm. who tell you that well done, we're right there for you. Mm. I think uh, your personal conviction is first, mm. and the support, support you get from your step. family mm. and those around you is very, very key in making it uh, a dream come true. Okay, that's good. Very important. So, now we're going to move on to something else. So, I have a question. If you had to choose between having internet, or having air conditioning, what would you choose? In Nigeria, so there's no winter, nothing. Internet or AC? Internet. Internet. <laughs> Me too, I'll choose internet. <laughs> I'll choose it. Although yesterday I spent time in where there was no light and I was almost dying, but I think I'll still choose internet. Internet. I, I arrived, this is the last holiday I arrived, mm -hmm. and there was no, I think they had problems uh, with the uh, you know, internet connection in the house, and mm. I almost kill everyone. And when the after effect of mm. um, Hurricane Irma, you know, came through Atlanta, Georgia, uh, it also affected uh, the internet also. Mm. And I was like, oh my God, I need this internet. I don't care about any of Exactly. Thing. I need data. I need to be on the go. So it tells you that that um, uh, you know, uh, the online, you know, you know, media is one thing mm. really. Uh, that has uh, really caught on and uh, if anyone is thinking that you can't start uh, a movement, mm -hmm. a positive movement, I, I'm trying not to use the word revolution, a positive mm -hmm. movement to right, you know, the wrong mm -hmm. uh, in any society through the online media, then yes. you have another thing coming. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's media as a way to go. Okay, so thank you very much for this interview. Before we end, so imagine you're on a desert, mm. yeah, deserted island, <coughs> and there's no electricity, there's no internet. <laughs> <laughs> and so, however, you're allowed to bring three things on the island. What are you going to bring? Three things. Mm. Because that means I'm marooned. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, if I'm marooned, and I knew I was going to be marooned. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this one is not, so 
Like today, I'll say, okay, come, we're going to uh, an island for three days. If I knew I was going to my Maru, I, uh, I think one of the things I know I'll take, I'll take my, my praying. I'm not trying to be religious. That's okay? right. Mm. But when I travel, my mm. carry-on always has my praying, you know. Yes. You know, because mm. I'm a Muslim, mm. I go up with my praying mat and uh, the one who protests me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's all. Some people want to call it rosary, it's not mm, a rosary. It's not a rosary, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes some Muslims I think maybe to... because it no, looks just like... Just a prayer bead. Mm -hmm. It's not a rosary. Yeah, it's not so, a rosary. So I put those two in my carry-on. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I tell myself, I say, I say it's an identity in mm -hmm. case I die. <laughs> I say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. In case I, I die and it's on me mm -hmm. and no one knows anything about me, they, they can easily say, okay, this man is a Muslim, let's give him a Muslim burial. So I think I would go with mm. those oh, those materials okay. if I knew I was living by road. So that's but, uh, Can I go with water? No. Uh, I can go with water now. No, there might be a stream uh, in the desert. or something in the, desert. Uh, on the island. So because that's I love why, water. Uh, that's why you, you actually water. taught me how to You get water, water from the... <laughs> <laughs> you get water from the, from the ground. Okay. Oh my what God. else? So you have one more thing. One more thing. So... Mm. <sighs> one more thing. You can't go with my phone. You can go with your phone now. Ah, and then my phone. Onto the battery, guys. Because you know you not carry solar battery. Oh my god. <clears throat> Too bad. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, so we've heard from Salai. Thank you very much for joining us. You're I'm going to put all the website information, his social media handles, the numbers you can call, everything in the description. So if you want to partner or you, have, you want to put any adverts on aleda.com.ng, do reach out to us via those mediums. Thank you very much. Yes. Do you have any final words you want to? I, I, I want to say, I want to say uh, well, I'm happy to be on your show. Uh, I, I, I'm honored mm -hmm. uh, because um, for those who don't know, mm -hmm. uh, Jamie, uh, made a lot of us, you know, start working out to stay healthy, which is just the truth. And uh, Jamie has seen a lot of places, mm. uh, you know, more than, you know, loads yes, of us. Yes. So mm. putting all of that now into pictures and sound mm. is something noble. And I want to say, uh, a typical me. One typical me. Can you see her? I just really wish you could see a picture with a red lip, you know, red lips. <laughs> yeah. But all the same, mm. I want to say well done and uh, thanks for visiting us here in Nigeria. Mm. We hope uh, someday when we come to the UK, we'll be able to visit your studios as well yes. and say, wow, this is a typical me studio. Yes, one day. And one the day. same way I'll visit your studio as well. And you're saying I inspired you. Do you know, actually, because <laughs> we've been talking, so now we're talking about like branching out on our own for a long time. And then he started, and I'm like, ha. Jamie start this thing because I've had this idea since. But I saw his dedication. That I know how like ah, every time he has put a post, put a post, I'm like, Jamie, what are you doing? You know? So thank you very much for inspiring me to take the plunge. You're welcome. Alright,